So we're moving out of our place and I am starting with the garage. Oh boy. Uh, we have lived at this house uh, for two and a half years. And within those two and a half years, I have accumulated quite a bit of stuff. Before we were in a really small place, we couldn't get any of this. Um, but I have a ton of stuff like, I mean, fishing gear. Not only that, but I have a lot of stuff that I use to build out the van, our Sprinter van that's right outside. Um, I have a ton of extra, I don't know, tools and just a ton of parts and pieces that I didn't end up using. Uh, so I'm going to have to do something with all of that. Uh, maybe I'll give some stuff away if some people need them or maybe I'll sell some stuff. But uh, I don't even know where to start, to be honest. There's a lot of stuff. Look around, it's a complete mess, but you can see how much stuff there is. We got tools up here and up there. Got a saw, I actually have a second um, saw up there, a chop saw, and we got a circular saw. We got uh, all kinds of just nuts and bolts down there. A um, bunch of sprays, different things there, outdoor stove, uh, got like boxes from fishing reels and outdoor pan and uh, all kinds of random stuff there and just extra tools there. That's the workbench, just has all kinds of fishing gear on it right now. This is a travel rod case because we are going on a very long trip. That's why we're moving out. And I do also have a kayak outside too. Oh geez, there's so much stuff. And all the fishing gear back there, just, I don't know, over 25 rods. Oh boy. I'm just procrastinating right now, just making this vlog. It's just so I don't have to. All right, let's get it started. You know, I think I'll start with the fishing gear. Let's do that. I have this rod case. I'm going to I'm going to use this for rod storage. Some of the rods that I don't need and I don't want to get damaged. I'll put it in here. Taking a little packing break and having lunch. We got a simple plantain bean salad. It's pretty delicious. Love making these for barbecues and picnics. All right, lunch time. And then back to work. This uh, you haven't made this in a while. Yeah. This is always pretty good though. Always really good. Mm. We could have a little Basque cheesecake for dessert. Did you, did you show him already? Oh no, I didn't. She makes the best cheesecake. I kid you not. <laughs> and this is really good too. It's like really refreshing and the plantains give it like a lot of sweetness and kind of density mm -hmm. and with the beans too actually um, quite filling I think they have plantains in New Zealand I don't know about that mm. well, I guess we haven't said where we're going until now <laughs> first we're headed to Hawaii to the big island mm, where it all started this channel mm, back when the world started in Hawaii three years ago Hmm. Yeah. Over yeah, over three years ago. And uh, but that was in Maui. Guess I'm going to the Big Island. That should be fun. We're meeting up with some people over there, and we're gonna be fishing, free diving, doing a pop up. I'm looking forward to it. We'll be just be there for ten days, and then off to New Zealand. It's been pretty busy. It's been the holidays, and then we had a couple events for the channel, the main channel. And then we have to say bye to everyone. Since we're going to be gone for a while. I mean, we'll come back, but... <laughs> we'll be back before you even know it. We are filling up on all the food that we probably won't find in New Zealand. Mm. Like Korean barbecue. Doing that tonight. Yeah, I don't. I honestly don't know what the food scene is like there. I know they have some like nice fancy restaurants, but I don't know what like the casual food is. Like, we pho a lot, you know? Stuff like that. Yeah. So, well, it'll be exciting. Well, I, I'm going to... Yes, we're going to be cooking a lot. Yeah. Because um, when we do 
Anytime we tell people we're going to New Zealand, everyone gets really stoked because a lot of people have been there. Um, but when we ask about the food, <laughs> there's everyone says like, mm, it's not a whole lot. We could be surprised though. You never know. Yeah, we'll I'm, find out. I'm sure the big cities will have like mm -hmm. good restaurants. I don't know much about like diverse restaurants. Yeah. Now that we're finished with lunch, gotta get back to work. A little unhealthy breakfast, but it's delicious. Mm. Mm. Really delicious. And she used real vanilla this time. That's crazy. That's good. Today's a pretty busy day because we're going to be doing kind of like the first half of the move um, where we're going to put like a lot of the boxes in storage, our bed in storage. We're just going to keep the couch since it has a pull-out bed that's surprisingly comfortable. And then I actually have a hair appointment. I've been trying to get this blue out but it <laughs> really wants to stay in. So we'll see how that hair appointment goes. And then we have dinner plans to go to a sake bar, which we're pretty excited about. We basically have a lot of dinner plans the next few days. Um, we were gonna record for the Korean barbecue last night, but we're not good at recording when we go to restaurants because we just get really excited about the food. And when we're with friends too, we like forget about recording. But yeah, better get back to packing and we'll see you guys in a bit. Last time you guys saw me, my hair was blue, now it is red. I was gonna go with a more natural look, but because it was so blue, uh, I didn't have a lot of options unless I just wanted to be a boring black or boring brown. And we got to have delicious sake with friends. It was actually a pretty fun time getting to taste a couple options. And then we had a beef tongue, which is one of Taku's favorites, and I really love it, so we're pretty happy. So today is the day we move. We have mostly everything boxed up. We got the U-Haul truck, and hopefully we get it all done today because our flight's in the morning tomorrow, so. <laughs> yeah. And we also have to drop off our router, and I think that's it. Just pack up, drop off our router, and I think we are good to go. It's been a hectic few days. Yesterday, Ensei and Nick helped me move some of my bulky stuff, like the grill, uh, my outdoor table and you know some of the bigger stuff into our new storage place and so that was very helpful so, so thanks to Nick and Ensei for that and we've been at it today just you know boxing up the rest of our stuff uh, there's a ton of boxes right there in the living room oh uh, yeah we took the bed yesterday too so we slept, slept on the couch last night um, and it's look at this place it's a mess but we're getting, we're getting through it. It's pretty much empty. We just have this dresser uh, that we'll take. Room that we haven't really tackled at all is our office. Um, gotta take all that down. My whole setup, that's Jocelyn's table. And those are lights for her plants. Oh boy, we have a lot more stuff than we thought. But the U-Haul is almost full, almost there. And it's starting to rain on us, of course. The only day it rains. All right, guys, we got everything packed up and cleaned. It took so long. There's a lot of echo because there's literally nothing in the room except like camera bag. But yeah, we're gonna be heading to Hawaii next. So see you guys there.